Here in New Zealand, it's the beginning of a new school year. And uh, I know that in the next week, there are staff gatherings to prepare, to plan for the year, and the students will be back uh, later in this month. It's a good opportunity for us to reflect on, in the educational endeavor, what are we trying to do? What is our aim? What are our goals for education in our particular school? And let's speak not just in a general educational context, but specifically about Catholic education. What is it that we are seeking to do in a Catholic school? What is our goal? I remember hearing a, a reflection, or it was actually an interview, it was in England a number of years ago, where a TV station was interviewing uh, the principals, the uh, leaders of the Catholic school communities, to ask them, I'm sorry, not just the Catholic school communities, but of a range of school communities, to ask them, what is your goal? What are you seeking to do? They interviewed one and he said, well, we exist to prepare good students, uh, uh, good citizens of the 21st century. And then another one said, well, we hope to um, instill good values in our students so that they will go on to lead good and happy lives. And they got to one woman who was the principal of a Catholic girls' school, a lay principal of a girls' school. I said to her, what's your goal? What are you seeking to do? And she looked directly into the camera, I remember it well, and she said, we exist to prepare our girls for death. And I remember at that point, the camera kind of shook a little bit. Uh, the the um, interviewer was a bit surprised, a bit stunned. But what a brilliant answer she had given. We exist to prepare our students for death. Because that's another way, a very effective way, I think, of stating a fact which has always been the definition of Catholic education specifically. And that is that Catholic education is, if it's working well, a preparation or an introduction to the totality of reality. Catholic education is an introduction to the totality of reality. Now that immediately broadens our perspective wider because no longer are we simply thinking that Catholic education has as its goal for taking these students and giving them this information so they can pass these exams to go on to get that job. Many people reduce their expectation of education to that. Or perhaps someone is a young person particularly talented on the sports field. We may think, well, our goal is really to stretch that student in their um, field of enjoyment and ability to really do their best as an athlete, as a sports person. But that's not really the totality of reality, is it? In these days in our Catholic Diocese of Christchurch, we are really struggling. At the beginning of this week, the life of one of our young priests, 33-year-old, only ordained six months, was taken in a road accident. As we prepare this video, we're about to gather for his vigil and his funeral. In these days, we have been gripped by grief, really shaken. But shaken into a place that does confront us with the totality of reality. I've been trying to do a bit of work here in these, in these days. I find it impossible to concentrate. So too, my friends, for Graham's family, it must be impossible for his parishioners at Our Lady of Victories, for the people of the diocese, for his many friends. We find it really hard to simply focus on the things that most weeks are important for us. We've been shaken into the totality of reality. And I would suggest that a good question could be as we begin this new school year, what is it that you are doing in your educational process that helps the young man or the young woman at your school to deal with the death of the one they love when they are 33. What is it that you do today? Is it the teaching of this particular subject or their passing of this exam or their excelling on the sports field in this way? Well, probably not. But there's something that's deeper than values about our relationship with Jesus Christ that will enable them to get through the suffering that will be an unwanted, yes, but an inevitable part of their lives over the next 70 or 80 years. Education that is effective will introduce 
our young people to this totality, to this reality. Because we know too that some students will do really badly at school and do wonderfully at life. They will become great husbands, great wives, great people in a variety of fields. Other people will do wonderfully at school, but their focus is so much on this subject and these exams or that sport that they will struggle and have no ability to cope when struggle or suffering comes. And the way that we do this, education to the totality of reality, I would suggest is to keep our perspective fixed, like that principle of the girls' college, on the broader perspective. We exist to prepare our students for death. Well, death isn't simply the event that comes at the end of our earthly life. Death is anything in a day that feels deathly, the unwanted experience, the losses, the griefs, the failures. Sure, we strive for success, but all of us fail at times too. How do we deal with that? Do we turn to um, things that anesthetize that pain? Or do we look at the crucifix that hangs on the cross, on the wall, the crucifix that hangs on the wall of the classrooms in our schools and say, this event is the ultimate pathway to success. This is the real success. Because we follow Christ, the sufferings, the struggles, the failures in exams and the disasters on the sports field won't be the totality of reality because death and the experiences that feel deathly are not the end, they're the pathway. This is the totality of reality. I'm happy to be able to offer this encouragement. You as teachers in our schools and the wider school community are at the cold face of our missionary endeavour. Many of our young people and their families have little to do with parish communities, which gives you a unique opportunity to present faith in a new and real way. And at the heart of that endeavour must be the one who gives us life, not a sporting hero or an academic success story graduate of your college, but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who lived the life, pretty much you'd have to say, of a failure, abandoned by friends, put to death as a criminal, but whom God raised from the dead. If we convey this life to our students and introduce our students to this personal and real relationship with Christ, then we have truly succeeded in what we set out to do in our educational endeavour.